It's been 40 years since a Republican nominee has carried New York State in a presidential election. You have to go back to President Ronald Reagan, who won the state as part of his landslide re-election victory in 1984. But that hasn't stopped presidential candidate Donald Trump from showing up and letting the people of the Bronx know that he cares. The rally is scheduled for 6 p.m. in Crotona Park, the Bronx, New York, tonight, May 23, 2024. I am touched by the turnout for President Donald Trump in the Bronx today. Three hours before the rally start, there was already nearly 8,000 people at the park, in spite of the fact that only 3,500 people will be able to enter the venue. Our minority brothers and sisters have suffered for so long, and they are finally waking up. Good and peaceful people are tired of the lies that have been fed to them at election time, only to be oppressed even more when they voted for these traitors. Trump hats and flags fill the landscape in the Bronx today, waiting for President Trump to talk to them without the filter of the media's misinformation. The energy at Crotona Park is amazing. 85% of the people voted for Biden last time around, and they're looking for options so badly that they are ready to consider Trump, who has been villainized in the mind of many by a slick media misinformation campaign designed to make the people hate Trump. And they are waking up. Many of the people in the crowd are calling for the removal of AOC with signs saying, Fire AOC. Democratic leaders are showing real concern as they make their last-minute efforts to turn the people against Trump. One media person actually asked a vlogger if he was afraid to have Trump as president. His response was wonderful. His eloquent response was that, when you live in the Bronx, you are afraid every day under the current leadership. Nobody is asking for people to just change their minds overnight, but they are open to hear what the man has to say and personally, it seems to me that the people of the Bronx are just happy that someone cares enough to visit them and hear what they have to say. It looks very positive for our country. It has been said that before this is over, these crooked politicians won't be able to show their faces in public. I think we are on our way.